Joshua chapter 18. The whole community of the Israelites assembled at Shiloh, where they set up the tent of meeting, and the land was subdued before them. The seven remaining portions. There remained seven tribes among the Israelites that had not yet received their heritage. Joshua therefore said to the Israelites, How much longer will you put off taking steps to possess the land which the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has given you? Choose three representatives from each of your tribes, I will send them to go throughout the land and describe it for purposes of acquiring their heritage. When they return to me, you shall divide it into seven parts. Judah is to retain its territory in the south, and the house of Joseph its territory in the north. You shall bring to me here the description of the land in seven sections. I will then cast lots for you here before the Lord, our God. For the Levites have no share among you, because the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage, while Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have already received the heritage east of the Jordan which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. When those who were to describe the land were ready for their journey, Joshua commanded them, Go throughout the land and describe it, return to me and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So they went through the land, described its cities in writing in seven sections, and returned to Joshua in the camp at Shiloh. Joshua then cast lots for them before the Lord in Shiloh, and divided up the land for the Israelites into their separate shares. Benjamin one lot fell to the tribe of Benjaminites by their clans. The territory allotted them lay between the descendants of Judah and those of Joseph. Their northern boundary began at the Jordan and went over the northern flank of Jericho, up westward into the mountains, until it reached the wilderness of Bethaven. From there it crossed over to the southern flank of Luz, that is, Bethel. Then it ran down to Adaroth Adar, on the mountaintop south of lower Beth Haran. For the western border, the boundary line swung south from the mountaintop opposite Beth Haran until it reached Kiriath Baal that is, Kiriath Jerim, this city belonged to the Judah Heights. This was the western boundary. The southern boundary began at the limits of Kiriath Jerim and projected to the spring at Nephtoa. It went down to the edge of the mountain on the north of the valley of Rephaim, where it faces the valley of Ben Hinnom and continuing down the valley of Hinnom along the southern flank of the Jebusites, reached Enrogel. Inclining to the north, it extended to Enshemish, and thence to Jelilith, opposite the pass of Adumim. Then it dropped to Eben Bohan ben Reuben. Across the northern flank of the Araba overlook, down into the Araba. From there the boundary continued across the northern flank of Beth Hogla and extended northward to the tongue of the Salt Sea, toward the southern end of the Jordan. This was the southern boundary. The Jordan bounded it on the east. This was how the heritage of the Benjaminites by their clans was bounded on all sides. Now the cities belonging to the tribe of the Benjaminites by their clans were, Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emek Kizuz, Beth Araba, Zemarim, Bethel, Avim, Para, Ophra, Chepharamoni, Ophni, and Geba, twelve cities and their villages. Also Gibeon, Rama, Biroth, Mizpeh, Chephara, Moza, Rechem, Erpil, Terala, Zela, Helef, the Jebusite city that is, Jerusalem, Jibia, and Kiriath, fourteen cities and their villages. This was the heritage of the clans of Benjaminites.